Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome if you're new, I'm Stacy, and today we are going to take a look at the Castle Arts Premium Soft Touch Metallic Pencils. Now I went back and forth and back and forth about getting these, um, because I really, really, really want them to be like super metallic. Um, kind of like pearly and iridescent and a slightly glittery, and uh... I read a bunch of reviews and looked at a bunch of stuff and um, bit the bullet and went ahead and got these. They're not expensive. Um, I'll put a link down below so that you guys can check them out. I got them from Amazon, of course. Um, come in this beautiful tin, gorgeous tin, with art on the front of it, which is amazing. And it has on the back, it's the 48 uh, metallic pencils with all the colors swatched out on the back. Let's say they're non-toxic, named and numbered. All right, this is a Deluxe 48 Premium Soft Touch Metallic Pencils as silky smooth, velvety soft leads with a large crayon of permanent color, offering both density and opacity. Non-toxic pencils have been named, numbered, and the color and color coded for instant recognition in the tactile soft touch finish and the quality wood casings allow for ease of maneuverability and sharpening. They do sharpen really nice. Now this extensive range of deluxe metallic pencils can easily be layered, shaded, and blended, delivering endless po possibilities bounded only by your imagination. So, yeah. Pop this open and in the lid we have um, the art once again, a little blurb about Castle Arts, and then all the colors swatched, numbered, and named. So that's really nice. I haven't looked into if you can buy these open stock or not, but it would be really cool if you could because they're very nice pencils. I have the colored pencil set as well, the 72. This comes with a product, color product guide, and if you open it all up, it has all of their like pertinent information about all of their stuff and a swatch of their pencils, pencils, paints, um, metallic pencils, acrylic tubes, watercolor tubes, gouache tubes, it's all color coded and there's a, a diagram at the top telling you what what colors these these come in within what medium which I thought was nice. The pastel tints are nice. I'm, I might pick those up as well. We'll see. I'm going to play with, with the regular colored pencils and the metallics first and see how they do before I see if I need the, if I need the pastel ones. So it comes with that. And then we have our, our booklet, Metallic Pencils, Taking Your Art to the Next Level. And then there's all kinds of information about pencils, sharpening, storing, um, some projects that you can do. Ooh, I didn't think to use Bristol paper. That's a good idea. That's beautiful. Can you see that? That's just gorgeous. I dig it. Um, and then we have uh, the different color values and the colored pencil selection, mastering your strokes, um, how 12 pencils can make 144 colors, so it's mixing, your layering, and whatnot. Different ways to blend your, your pencils. Yeah, there's all kinds of white and black, what it looks like, white and black, um, with blenders and without, uh, different drawing techniques. And then there's the Blue-Eyed Tiger, that's the art that's on there. There's the project here for you guys to do. And then we have another Sea Eagle project. That's nice. And then the glossary. So yeah. Product range. They have a nice product range. I haven't tried their sketchbooks, pads, or blocks yet. Maybe I'll look into those too. I am looking for new watercolor paper. Uh, if you need any help, here's their card and you can join their club. And then we have the Tiger Project. It comes with folds all out so that you can see the project large and in charge and follow step by step which is super cool and it's a good way to practice another swatching of the different colors you get 
and the back of that. And then I went ahead and swatched. This comes with your protective sheet to go over your pencils, which is nice. Mine's a little damaged. Well, my case got a little damaged in shipping too. It's a little banged up. It came just in another, um, car it came in the cardboard box that this is packaged in. And then it came in another cardboard box that exactly matched it. So your, your tin for this one might come a little banged up. I don't mind that. Over time it's going to get banged up anyways. But it also comes with your test sheet. And I went ahead last night when I got my pencils and swatched them all out on the white paper. And then I also went ahead and swatched them on black paper. Just so that you guys could see the difference between what the metallic pencils look like on I mean they're more they're more shiny than metallic um I don't they don't have the kick and bounce and you know kapow that I really wanted these to, to have they do have they do have a bit of a metallic sheen to some of them um I noticed mostly the gold and the the silvery colors um, this orangey one is kind of metallic-y, sort of. Mostly to me, they just have a sheen on the white paper. Now on the black paper, there's a bit more shine. I did a gradation, deep to light, um, so you get a feel for the range of the color. And it does have, if you tilt it, a bit of glitter and shine. Not, once again, quite the kapow I was looking for, but the, the pencils themselves are, are beautiful. Once again, they come, um, if you watch my, my unboxing of the colored pencils, they have a beautiful black barrel, which I love, and then they're color-coded on the bottom. I like that aesthetic visually. That pleases me. Um, let's focus. We have two trays. This one has all of our um, gold, golds into browns, golds into green, brown, gold, into greens, and then our blue, blue greens, and into blues, and, and then just a touch of purple right there. And then this tray has all of our gorgeous um, brown, orange colors, into some pinks, and some mauve purples, deep purples, and then into, um, I don't think this is black, I think it's a charcoal. Yeah, it's a gray. These are grays, a blue gray, a silver, and then another like pewter color. This one is, I can't read, this Vesuvius gray. So it's a nice selection of colors. It looks amazing. It comes ooh, with, you know, enough. You could, two trays, you can set this tray here while you're working. And I like the elastic loops so much. These little elastic loops for helping to pull your trays out. The trays are a little flimsy. Nothing to, to you know, get too worked up about. The um, ties are in there pretty good. You can replace them if you need to. I, I enjoy that you can lift the trays out pretty easily without wrestling with the, the tin. And... If you don't want to keep them in the tin, you can put them into cups or into a dispenser. I have all kinds of cups and dispensers. Most likely I will keep mine in my tin and pull them out when I want them until I get a larger setup for my space, which will happen when I get a whole house. So that's these guys. And I wanted to set this aside and show you, because I also have the Castle Arts uh, 72 color pencils set which is you know same same it has a bunch of reading paraphernalia for you and our protective sheet which is you know didn't get as banged up as this one did which is very nice and once again we have our, our little loops and we have our trays of color and here there are three trays with all the gorgeous colors beautiful beautiful colors and these colored pencils, I've, I've used them quite a bit. Uh, as you can see, the greens, um, this white is actually the one I wanted to pull out to go with the drawing we're going to do today. 
um, uh, the purples I've used, some of the yellows. Uh, very nice pencils. Soft and buttery for sure. Sharpen, really, really nice. Um, I haven't had any weird breakage yet. They're they're packaged pretty tightly. They don't. There's no like room to bounce and bang them around. So I can't imagine they're going to be like broken in the middle or anything. What I wanted to show you, and what I was interested to see, is where did I put my swatches? Oh, they're in my swatch pad. They're in my swatch booklet. Because I created a colored pencil area. Or I wanted to create a colored pencil area. Here they are. What I was interested in was the uh, difference in colors between the colored pencil set and the metallic set. Now I have, and just what they look like on the paper, like here they, here's our 72 on the black paper and our metallics on the black paper. And there is a notable brightness to the metallics. They are nice and bright. These are more subdued, more opaque looking. I did solid squares on these though. I didn't do gradation. Um, this, these have a bit of a gradation once again. But there's definite brightness, right? They're very bright. And the color selections are... Let's zoom out a bit so you can see better what's going on. And the color selections, to my mind, are, are, are really nice. They're, they're, compar like they're compatible. Right? They'll go well together if you want to use these colored pencils on a piece and then brighten up some areas with your metallics. That's, I think that's a really nice collection of colors right there. That's on our black paper and then we'll just put down the white paper. There's our colored pencils on the white paper and our metallics, which reversed. These are more um, bright and vibrant on the white paper and these are more muted and soft and um, less intense and have a bit of a shine. These are more vibrant. A little soft shine on this paper, but not too much. Once again, it's a great collection of pencils at a really affordable cost. I really, really enjoy them. I'm gonna show you a couple pieces of art that I did with them. Um, this one I did with the colored pencils on black paper. Super beautiful, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous color. And amazing textures. This is, uh, I believe, Legion Super Black Paper. I have a collection of like extra black paper that I'm trying to plow through. Uh, and I did that with the, the colored pencils, not the metallics. So we'll set that, that guy up there. And then this one I did with metallics just to see how shiny they would be against the black paper. And they are pretty shiny on the paper. I gotta say, got a little sailboat sailing along back there and a cloudy sky reflected in the water. I may have gotten a little too carried away with the details on this. It's a little muddy, kind of lost my sailboat a little bit in the back there. But um, yeah, overall, once again, on super black paper, um, beautiful colors. I thought that this was just a sample. I thought we would go ahead and try out our pencils, our metallics, on the, the super black paper. And let's put our colored pencils away because honestly all, the only one I wanted to pull out of the colored pencils was the white for um, certain aspects of the drawing we're going to do. Let's set these guys here where they go and put my swatches of the colored pencil back in here for now and set these aside. What a lot of table space. Frustrating. And once again these colored pencils, they sharpen really really nice. The colored pencils, the metallic ones, I've had to sharpen a couple of them. Super buttery soft. Sharpen really nice. And they will go to a point. I just don't need it to be at a super sharp point right now. Let's see, where am I going to set, set these guys up here, like so, I'm going to set the white one right there. Let's move our colored pencil bird out of the way, and on this, like, once again, super black paper, I forget, 
where I got it. Art box. But I can't. I need to find some more because I love how deep dark black this is. It's no shine. I believe it's a, a multi-purpose paper, like a mixed media paper. I went ahead and drew on here with my trusty mechanical pencil. A little outline of an angry bird because it's too cute. I'm going to zoom, zoom in so you can see what I'm doing on his little teensy self. And maybe we'll set these guys over here. And the ones I use for the drawing I'll put right here on this here gray towel. There we go. It's a cloth that I used to clean my screens with, but we can set um, we can set stuff on it. It'll be fine. I'm going to start with our... Let's start with purple. Because I want those, those little eyes to be purple, eh? He's, he's, he's not a happy dude. He's a little angry dude. He's not happy about being wet. He got all wet. He didn't want to be wet. It won't stop raining. And he just wants to fly in sunshine. <laughs> so I got a little bit of purple on those eyes. And I think I want to do also where'd that berry color go? So this is, and the colored pencils are, you don't need to swatch them really. Um, I swatch them because I like swatching. I find it to be incredibly therapeutic. And it, it relaxes me. Just pop on some music and actually sat out on the patio while I was swatching these guys. A little bit of mulberry in there. What color are you again? Oh, Jasper purple. It's a very, very, very pretty purple. We'll put him in. We'll put it in other places. I'm gonna take this yellow gold color. What are you? Vegas yellow. I'm gonna sharpen this guy. I'm gonna sharpen a few of them so that we can get some some nice points. Cause I don't want to obliterate the black paper. I want him to kind of pop off there nicely. Ooh, look at that point. Gorgeous. Alright. And put in his yellow, very wet feathers that he has down here. He is not a happy camper. He doesn't want to talk about it. He just wants to gripe. Incoherently. Chirp. Chirpity chirp chirp chirp. These are really soft. This is a pretty smooth paper. Um, really digging it. And if you guys want to like color pencil along with me, I, I would love to have you pencil or watercolor or whatever. The um, reference photo I cannot put in the description but um, just look up an angry bird. They're so funny. Birds make me laugh. Except for when they wake me up at 3.45 in the morning which was yeah last couple of days. The time change and all that business. Yeah. Got some really happy birds at 3.45 in the morning, ready to face their day. Let's do this. Sun isn't even out yet, you guys. You guys. I was sleeping. <laughs> I was so upset this morning. I got up and closed the window. I mean, soon enough it's going to be too hot to have the windows open anyways. I'll have the AC on, but man. Is he looking angry yet? Does he look like an angry wet bird yet? I feel like maybe some of that white. Let's get in our white while we, before I get too carried away. Now, I'm going to pick up, actually I have, I 
have the Prismacolor pencils. And I've been told, been told, see, so I wish these had little elastics too. Maybe I'll put some on there. Poke holes in it. Make my own. <laughs> I do that kind of a lot. At any rate, as I was saying, squirrel, um, I've been told and heard that the Prismacolor white colored pencil is like a staple of colored pencils. It's the colored pen white colored pencil of colored pencils. Now, if anyone disagrees, please, please let me know in the comments below. I am interested to know. This is the Prismacolor white next to our beautiful castle. And the castle barrel is a little like beefy, not a lot, but enough that I notice the size difference. And it's feels less slick. It's smooth, but it, it's just comfortable in the hand. At any rate, castle white I'll put there and then right next to it, I'm going to put, yeah, see, that is a much, much brighter white. Is it much brighter to you guys? Side by side by side? Here, focus. There we go. It is. Let's see how much brighter that is. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, I don't mind the soft white. I was just curious. Like, we'll save that for well, super bright white areas. Tuft there. I got a little tuft of white here. And some under here. I mean, he is not a happy camper, you guys. His feathers are all ruffled up. Got some here. Poking out from that, that beak coming down this way. Down this way. I should sharpen this. These are very, very soft. They, um, the tips blunt pretty quickly, which is fine. Um, I am fairly new to colored pencil, like doing strip color pencil pieces. I usually do mixed media. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of white on the edge of his beak right here. There's a little shine on that top right there. There's a few little markings. Does he look angry already? I think he does. I believe he does. Too carried away with colors, with our metallic -y colors. Right. And then just a few bits of white. Picking out here and there. Look at that. There. See? You hear him? Aggressive. Just aggressive <laughs> with this chirping. I never noticed it so much when, until I moved here. There are just an abundance of birds here. I am right by the river too. That might be a big part of the reason why. Duh. All right. His feathers are a little askew. Like so. Poor little unhappy camper. I mean, there's a bit of glittery shine, I guess. I'm just not seeing it like I'd like to, I suppose, is my problem. Put some of this gold up here. Oh, I need a little white. Kinda. 
right there. This long feather out here is just, he's a disaster. I can relate. I'm a disaster too, dude. It's okay. that down and I'm going to get this silvery, silver, silver out. What are you? Plat platinum. And I'd like to platinum around his eyes, his little angry feather markings up here. I mean, it's all about the eyes, right? If you don't get them right, the whole piece just looks off. He's unamused with our shenanigans. With our laughing at him being all damp and angry. Why do you laugh at me? Why? I don't find it to be amusing at all. Evil creatures. Kind of reminds me a little bit of an uh, angry owl. I love owls. They're so beautiful. Get some speckles down there. Okay. Oh, and then his underside of his beak. Right there. There we go. Alright. Now, now, I feel like, I feel like, I don't want to lose him, like, I don't want to lose him in there. Let's get this, this, real dragon orange. It's appropriate for his mood, his little mood that he has right now. Oh, this is actually pretty glittery on the black paper. Digging it. All angry at us for finding him to be amusing. He's not amusing. That's what he's chirping. I'm not funny. You stop laughing. It's a little glittery. It's got a little bit of like focus. Like, glitter, a little, I mean, a squash, right? Oh. Some here, and here, okay, and then we've got his other part of his angry wing situation. Back here all all fluffed up and displeased. Like that. We got a little more fluffy color right here. There's a bit of fluffy, fluffy, fluffy feather wing situation going on right there. And there's a little bit of right. kind of downy like right there. And then let us see. Let's go out again and go soft and create that kind of fluffy, downy kind of feel right here. Okay, camera turned off, so rude. 
So I've got fluffies right here. Kind of going super light touch. You don't really need to press down very hard with these pencils to get a decent amount of color payoff either. There's a medium hard on here. A little medium hard there. Mostly just grazing it on the page at this point. Kind of create the, the shapes of these wet feathers poking out. There we go. Thanks. There's kind of a big one here. Maybe put some. What's this? Maybe this. I'm thinking this. This one. Pe peacock topaz. Come on. Sharpening again. Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. Upside, at least I don't have an electric sharpener yet, right? So you don't have to worry about taking off headphones and cringing and stuff. those feathers here and there. Does that look wet? Yeah, it's a little it's a little white shiny, isn't it? Close up it's not. Close up it's very blue. He's multicolored. Maybe I should have gone with purple. Like a deep purple. That probably would have been a better choice. I'm trying not to cover up all of the black because then it'll look like one shiny mass instead of um, instead of looking like an angry bird. Purple on top, like that. There's a teensy bug flying around in here today too. I don't know what he was thinking, but he came right in the house like he owned the place. Very discouraging. Okay. You're not gonna, you're not gonna block in all the black. Can't do it. Okay, how's that? Oh, that's fine. I need to do something. Maybe this pewter. This, this typhoon gray on his beak. Okay. Can that make it kind of blend in a little bit? Might have to get the color, the other color pencils out and. I like that purple color, that lavendery color, just to add a little bit of something in this very black area right here. Good. And then it's very black back here too. Do that. Okay. And then, because just because he's... Where's my swatches? I need a bright blue. Which one of these brights? Kind of this one, I'm thinking. Which is number 23. I feel like it's this one. 23. There it is. Alright. I'm going to sharpen number 23 as well. Look at these shavings. This, is that... Pleasing to anyone else? I really like pencil shavings. Especially when they come off all in one big long ribbon, which this pencil sh sharpener is really good at doing. That's good. See? 
happy as that. Is that pleasing to anyone else? A little side tangent. <laughs> Pencil shaving. Alright, back to the art. We have our sapphire blue, which we are going to utilize to put in his fluffy, 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 fluffy wings back here. Leaving some of that black seeping through on purpose. Very purposeful. I have to think about it differently when I work on black paper. You want to let it bleed through, but um, it's like your darkest shadow area. Um, given that these are glitter pencils, I don't really want to um, obliterate the black. Because then I probably look like one big old glittery mess. Tapping and dragging and making, just leaving like wispy edges. And there's a little bit of wispy downy feathers here. Because he's all floofed up. He's floofed, I tell you. And then, I don't really have a tea. So we're going to go ahead and gently. Um, Sparingly with the solid areas, get in the fact that he is all fluffed up and in a tizzy. Having a bit of a fit. Okay, how's that looking? Oh, pretty good. Kind of light circles right here to block in the back, like where it's dense, and then get those floofs, the, the all important floof. Yes. Right, so we'll dance here. On that black, black paper. He's not having the best day, you guys. Trying a light, light, light right here, just super light. Try not to block in the entire bird. Right here. These are very soft pencils. Just sharpen that and wore it down quite quite far already. Can you tell? Quite far. Quite, she says, quite. I have to come in with some of that weight on top 
to get some of those wispies. Those little wisps that he's got going on here and there. I think he looks appropriately miffed. What do you guys think? I'm trying to remember that directionality matters when you're trying to get that feel of fur, you know, or feather. direction of the line really matters. Yeah, I dig it. Alright. I could pick at this for hours. I'm not going to, but I could. I want some more. Some little bit of glow going on. Well, I'm sorry if you can hear the train. On a clear day like this, when it's super like warm out and yeah, I hear the train pretty plainly. It's pretty far away too. I don't honestly think I would hear it at all ever. I'm trying to get that. Fluffy downy feather situation like that. Yeah, digging it. I am digging him, and I'm liking the white over the blue over that sapphire. It's kind of softening it a bit. Right? Making it a little more shine. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. I haven't done a serious, like a hours long serious colored pencil piece in forever. Maybe grab that. Is this the sapphire? Yes. Put a little bit of that back on top. Yeah, that looks so nice. Alright. Oh. 
behind now. Give it a little more of a yellow look in some areas. What do we think? What do we think? Am I ruining it? Is anybody thinking, stop? Stop, stop. <laughs> Pretty medium pressure where it's super dense. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay. A little more weight in there, not that one. That I think would be a little too bright. Soften out some of this black underneath his, his little chinny chin chin. A little more of that here and there, like a little glazing of white in some areas. Like that. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's put those down. Get a little sapphire going on here. Like that. This little, this little mad face he's got going on. We'll take our white and soften that out. Get our little blows of. Skew feathers here and there. Well, you can take a colorless blender, blender to this too. I have a bunch of different blenders. Um, let's see. I don't like, I don't care for these, um, the burnishers. I don't really care for those, but I do like the blender. Let's, tip it off of that. let's see. Let's, let's do an edge. Let's see what happens if it softens that. Yeah, that dulls that metallic right out. Nope, don't want to do that. Okay, maybe in some areas. When we're done, let's see. Is this taking too long? This is probably taking way too long. I'm having fun though. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> no one else is having fun. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to. Where's that weight? Take the weight and some of these. Little blue areas blend it out a bit, and then this downy situation over here. Good. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> so great. Okay. The Adventures in Colored Pencil. Super fun. Super, super fun. Good. Do you like that? Kind of do. Yeah, I kind of do. Okay. Let's take that burnisher and soften some of these. The bottoms. Oh, there it is. The feathers go into the 
What's that? Yeah. Kind of takes a little bit of that glitter away, which is a little desirable on the top of that head. Like that. And then we take a little bit of that for you again, Vegas yellow. And give me some really little bits. Here and there. Like that. I enjoy it. So there. So there. Okay. Some fire on the edges of those eyes. I think I need like straight black for those eyes, but I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave well enough alone. Let's finish down here. They are they blend so nice. And keeping in mind that he is a fluffy bird. He has tons of textures. Lots of layers. Don't want to blend everything out. So pretty. What do you guys think? Are we digging the, the metallic -y colors? I think so. Her chirps a lot out there. I know there's a lot of road noise. I'll try to remember to blot that out when I'm editing. Most of it, at any rate. I know for a lot of people it's not enjoyable sound. The sound of traffic. The last thing you want to hear when you get home is the sound of traffic. Super relaxing. I'm having a great time. <laughs> ah. An ideal evening is art paper, colored pencils, maybe some oil pastels, a little bit of watercolor, something to drink. I actually have water over there right now because I'm super thirsty. Today. I don't know what's going on today. I'm very thirsty today, though. Um, and then maybe a book. I do like a nice book to listen to. Anybody else? Listen? Wow. Serious. Anybody else like listening to books while they're working on their art? I've started rewatching Big Bang Theory, like listening to it in the background, because you know Sheldon makes me laugh. <laughs> I enjoy Sheldon. I mean, I wouldn't ever want to live with him, but I do enjoy him on the television. There we go. Some little 
There's an under feather going on. Like that. Yes. And then, I don't know. Let's do that. There's this typhoon gray. And I'll try to get in his little talons. Like at least so that you can tell they're there, right? And then we'll take I have a nice brown in here. Do I have a nice brown? Kind of this mahogany color is pretty nice. Or maybe moonstone? That's a nice name for a color. Moonstone. Number 10. I need a number. What number are you? I'll learn them eventually. That's 32 and 30. That's not it. That's not it. More of a brown color. I know, now they're all out of order. <laughs> not that they were in order anyways, but... We could do this camo. I don't really care for that one, though. Let's put that down. Pull out a couple pencils. This one's... Oh, there it is. Don't stone. This one's pretty, I say. <laughs> we'll use that for the branch. little suggestion doesn't need to be perfect of a branch situation going on right here is that too much no it's all right it's all right this one is um more muted it's honey bronze. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on top. I wanna get in get a little bit of this moonstone in first. Like that. And then take this honey bronze and see what that does. Interest or does it detract? Kind of seems samey, huh? Maybe if we blend it a little bit. What should we blend with? How about a purple? Or this blue? This blue again? Peacock Topaz. Over the top. Let's see what happens. I keep forgetting these are shiny colors. And they're not going to layer the way I think they are. How's that? That's a little, that's not, it's not bad. A little shadowy effect going on. Go around those talons so that it looks like he has totos. A little, not toto, like as in a wizard of Oz, but toes. Little toes. Yeah. Where's that blender? The other one? Burnisher. I don't care for the burnisher. I don't want to burnish, I want to blend. And these these are from DeWent. If you guys are interested to know, there's like a pack of them for like, I don't know, five, six bucks. I got a pack of four, two of each kind, so that I could try them both and see which one I prefer. Not everybody's going to prefer what I prefer, so you know. Take my thoughts with grain of salt, throw it over your shoulder. And move on. Oh, it flattens it a little bit. All right. I feel like I really, really, really want black. <laughs> I flatten that right out. Okay. Oh, you, your oh, Miss Mythos Black. I'll set you. Right. Camera turned off. Rude. Just kind of 
flatten this color down here. How about that? Make it all flat and not not glittery. No glitter. Blend it down. And don't be afraid to leave textures in it because it is a branch. All right, let's take this black and sharpen it. Mythos Black. It'll be interesting on, on like, oh yeah, enough. On like the regular paper, come on. Come on, like right there. I don't want to like completely obliterate the purple to shine. That shine that I like so much. Use it to. Well, no, we sure won't flatten the crap right out of that paper. <laughs> Let's tap it off a little bit. My black black got a little muddy. Let's see. Where's that? Moonstone? That's what I had for down here, huh? Yeah. Right, that's not the one that I had on the feathers. This is the one with the dragon orange. That's what I had for this little I'm not pleased with you feather situation. There, how's that? I think that looks good. Do you guys think that looks good? Does he look perturbed to you? I wish I could, in some way, maybe this prism color. White. Really. Man, that prism color. Wait, she wasn't. She wasn't telling no story. Even over that glitter color is a super vibrant. Okay, interesting or interesting or. I think I need to stop messing with him because I'm losing. I'm losing him. All right. There. There's our glitter bird. Focus on him. Thank you. And our metallic -y shiny colors on the super black paper. Does he look angry to you? I think he looks angry. I should have left his eyes a little dark in the middle. And yeah, all of his little feathers, and I like the the layering effect, how it muted out. The white really muted out that blue and made it soft, and the purple's up here. Yeah, I dig it. I should get some colorless blenders, I think. What do you guys think? Should I get some colorless blenders and really go crazy with, with a piece? What I got these for was the big mermaid piece, so I'm going to use them on her. And some of her, her scales and see how they do. I'm going to play with um, practicing on layering on, on a piece of white paper. Because she's on white paper. I might do a wash of color over the back of her though. So yeah, at any rate, there are our Castle Art 48 set of metallic pencils. Ooh, that was a terrible sound. Um, there are our swatches. I'm going to zoom out, out, zoom out, there we go. All the colors that we used, I did not use this burnisher. I did use a touch of Prismacolor White. Um, very impressed with this pencil, the whiteness of it all. But oh, this white worked really well too, for what it was. Nice blender. Here's our bird, here's our swatches. 
There's our pencils. Yeah, there we go. All the pencils you ever wanted and didn't know you needed. You don't need them. You really don't. But yeah, there they are. Super cool. I dig it. I love, I love how it looks on the black paper. Very happy with that. What do you guys think? What do you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Do you have any metallic pencils? Do you have any thoughts on whether or not they're worth your, your dollar? I'd love to hear. Let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and playing along. Bye.